Hi, this is Sean Overton with OneStepRemove.com. I'm in front of our offices here in Dallas, Texas, and I want to explain to you the idea of a probability trailing stop. The idea is taken from a generic trailing stop, and you know from trailing stops that if you have a 50 pip trailing stop, that you're going to maintain a stop distance of 50 pips from the most favorable price seen. Probability trailing stop takes that idea and builds on it by looking at the relationship between the distance to the take profit and the distance that the stop is currently. So if you want to improve the idea of accruing and protecting your profits more quickly, then the probability trailing stop comes into play. If you're looking at a distance of, say, 20 pips from your current take profit, then maybe it makes sense to set your trailing stop to 20 pips. And as it gets closer, say maybe you're only 10 pips away, maybe you want to put your stop loss 10 pips. And what that does is it exponentially ratchets the stop loss closer to the current price so that whatever profit has accrued, you can protect. Now there's only one variable in there and that is the take profit or the stop loss ratio. So if you have a ratio or a multiplier of one, that means if you have a 50 pip take profit, you want to have a 50 pip stop loss. 30 pip take profit, 30 pip stop loss. Now if you use a different number like two, then you just multiply your take profit. So a 30 pip take profit is a 60 pip stop loss, a 40 pip take profit is an 80 pip stop loss, and so on. Now as, as you approach your take profit, that's going to have an increasing effect. So if you come now to say you're within 30 pips of your take profit with a ratio of one, your stop loss is now 30 pips. But if you get closer, so now you're only 20 pips away from your take profit, your stop loss has actually decreased to only being 20 pips away. And what that does is it helps protect the profits that have accrued, not from your entry price, but from the most favorable price seen. That's why you get the exponential ratcheting. And if you have any questions on how this works or you'd like to see the back test results, you can go to the blog post at www.onesteprove.com. My name is Sean Overton. Thank you for listening.